Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California, and this channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. And today, we are going on a field trip. For today's field trip, we're out in Modesto and we are at Dutch Hollow Farms with the one, the only, Farmer John. Yeah. You're, you're a local celebrity. I hate that but you term, are. but he is. it's kind of weird when you go out and everybody's like, hey, Farmer John, you want to get a picture with me? People know <laughs> who Farmer John is. So I'm really excited because baby animal days are going on right now. Yeah, it's so fun. And, and you'll see it out here when you're out here. It just, it's, it's amazing to see kids and the smiles and it's just, <laughs> yeah, it's great. So it started about 16 years ago where my best friend and I sold gigantic pumpkins on the corner it's actually now it's an a.m. p.m. down the street and we had so much fun doing it that we said hey if it ever came to you know a place that we could start a pumpkin patch we're gonna do it and lo and behold the next year we started a pumpkin patch on our old farm which was in Riverbank and it's only just four miles from here but we have now recently moved to this location. It's It's been a tremendous uh, blessing just because I've been able to hone in on a really great demographic of people. And it seems like there's been a baby boom too. <laughs> there is a baby boom going yeah. on right now. <laughs> exactly, oh, yeah. exactly. And so in the beginning, I, I had been growing tulips for a lot of years and and, that was still kind of in its infancy and then the pumpkin patch kind of came along uh, baby animal days is actually only about four years old we weren't able to have it last year because of covid uh, and and we're happy to bring it back at this new farm and it, it's just a hands-on experience that very few farms want to do anymore because there's a lot of liability that comes with it mm -hmm. so uh, my insurance is really, really good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> so very early in spring, say the end of February, we start with our tulip farm. And we're actually really on the end of it already. Uh, here it is. It's going to be uh, April 1st soon. So, I mean, it's we're about done with tulips. And, and the field kind of reflects it too, which is typical of this area. And so baby animal days started March 20 and it will go till April 11 but we kind of shortened the season a little bit by taking Tuesday Wednesday Thursdays off just to kind of give employees a break the animals a break it gives us time to adjust to the to the new season but then we're going to be planting sunflowers and again this is all the things that we're doing here are designed to uh, hone in on the public like we're going to be planting seven to eight acres of sunflowers as soon as the field is ready and we're going to plant sunflowers and then people can come out we're actually going to do a wine train too Ooh. so for all it's not just for kids but for adults as well we're going to be doing more of those type of events where we can feed people in this wonderful barn and uh, when it's in June, July, when the temperatures can get warm, everybody's kind of undercover. And so there's, there's just a lot of great opportunities to bring the public. And then, of course, the kids get to see animals and be around them, interact with them. And then you get a lot of great pictures in the sunflowers. And then, yeah, we've already started planting our pumpkins. Uh, and it's, yeah, hard to believe that we've planted the first pumpkins already. Fairy tale pumpkins have been planted for our fall um, extravaganza, if you will. It's it's a big deal where we we plant nearly 15 to 20 acres of pumpkins just to sell here off the property, and families can get together once again and just enjoy each other. Okay, last question for the intro. Okay. How tall are you? Six foot five. Six five. Yeah. You're not even standing up totally. I know. <laughs> Stand up straight. I know. Yeah.
Oh my god, they're really excited now. They see what's happening. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Look how excited they are, John. You are the man. Look at the little baby. The little baby's like, I'm going. Oh, look at the mom's like, I'm trying to eat here, child. <laughs> So I started with just this one. This is the mama of, this is my original mama. Aww. And with keeping the females, yeah. look at what we've grown to. <laughs> is this cake and velvet? So, no, that's, um, that's cake. This the, is cake. The other big one is uh, oh. velvet. This is just a, a baby of hers. A little, a little one. Yeah. A little one. We haven't, we haven't named her yet, but that's a female. Oh, you don't like it. You don't like it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never fed a goat before. <laughs> Actually, probably as a little kid. Oh man. There we go. Oh, look at my mothering skills. <laughs> I'm already a pro. Does this one have a name? Uh, Olaf. Do you name every single go? Uh, no, but Malia does. So is that Malia one of your employees? One of my employees yeah. This is She's, Olaf. She I'm loves Lena. to name all my <laughs> these little guys. Because <laughs> this is, I think, one of my only white. Uh, so Taco looked like this last year, and. Now he's all big grown-up goat. Oh, look at <laughs> what happens with most dairy goat males is they just get sold off, and uh, we were able to acquire five of them. Okay. On Friday, so. So no force feeding. Yeah. No. No. Force <laughs> <laughs> you want some more? You want to try? Yeah. Here. You want to try that one? Ready? There we go. Yeah, you want to hold it up like this. There you go. See the milk there? So you want to make sure the milk will go down. Perfect. Pro. <laughs> through the animal barn. Yes. So there's a ton of animals behind me. We passed goats, alpacas, more goats, and miniature horses. Yeah, miniature horses and... And, oh, now we've got the friendliest. Oh my God, yeah. oh my God. Hi. So what's great about this, this is Poppy. Okay. And and Poppy is, is kind of a famous animal now because Poppy spent about 10 minutes live with Howie Mandel <laughs> one what? time. Yes. Did he come here? No. I, I, he was Instagram live, and I said to him, I just wrote, hey, you want to see goats? Well, next thing I knew, Howie Mandel is on my screen, on my phone. Oh, my gosh. And, I, and it was so funny because it was like, hey, what's up, Howie? <laughs> <laughs> But because of this light, okay, because it was at that time of the year, it was about two months ago, uh -huh. and there was very little light in the barn at the time, so, but around Poppy, uh, there was light, so I mean, we kind of hung out and chatted with Howie Mendel, with, with my, oh my gosh. llama alpaca cross. Your llama alpaca cross. So this one is a llama. Correct. And then the baby is a llama alpaca mix. Yes. And And is there a reason you did that? No. No. I she got drunk one night and oh. and um, got got a little crazy with the <laughs> alpacas and 
you know, lo and behold, I, honestly, I didn't think they were interested in each other at all. And then all of a sudden, last fall, there was this little baby out in the pasture. And I was like, wait a minute, what? You weren't even, ex you didn't even know I she was pregnant. I did not know she was pregnant. So she was not taking any prenatals. No. And, it, you know, the thing <laughs> is, is like, they're pregnant for 11 months. I was going to say, I thought that yes. they were pregnant for a really they're long a time. really long time. And I just never. So you were not very observant. I was not observant <laughs> on that whole thing. Sable here is, um, was purchased from my friend Erin Nutcher. Oh, we love California her. California Dairy Wife. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I, I saw that you did a video with her recently, but yeah, these three calves actually came from her dairy farm. And, uh, but the type of breed that they are, we do not like to put these in the petting zoo because they're a hundred pounds at birth. Well, now they're probably 150 to 175 pounds and that could hurt a little child. I mean. Yeah. And, and and not maliciously, the calves would never do it maliciously. It's just that they're so big mm -hmm. that they just, they kind of don't know that they're even doing it. Mm -hmm. So, but that's why, I mean, it's, they'll come up to you from time to time and you can, yeah. you can just pet them and really sweet. This is Sable. Sable. And then we got Shaq over there. I on see the Shaq. Shaq, he's a, he's a big old. And then we got Big John down here. He's Big John. He's another. You're Big John. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Aaron named him for me. So <laughs> we're in the pig pen. Yeah, we're in the pig pen. But fun fact is, pigs are a lot cleaner than you think. I've heard that. And uh, under recommendation, we put these pigs. There's actually concrete underneath here. Okay. because otherwise they would dig and dig and dig and dig and uh -huh. it's just uh and then they just make a mess and for us for cleaning purposes um because they they tend to kind of go in one area as well which okay. is really nice i mean that pigs are a lot cleaner than you think uh, they don't grow as much in the like the first up to about 125 pounds they only grow like a pound pound and a half a day but once they go over 125 pounds, they grow two and a half to three pounds a day. A day? A day. Holy smoke. Yeah. So they're, like they hit that point and they're like, we're growing. Yeah, we're growing. And how how much do these guys weigh, you think, roughly? Uh, right idea? now, they're pushing, I know we got one smaller one in here, but uh, at least 80 to 90 pounds right now. Okay, so they haven't they haven't hit the mark. Correct, yet. correct. Okay, let's see these guys. Oh, they're so cute. Your little pit. Look at that little tail. <laughs> it's like a dog. Oh my god. Do they all wag their tails? Is that one just you straight? Know, that, <laughs> that is the first pig I've ever seen with like a straight tail like that. Can you pet them? So who have we got here? So this is Bo, and Bo is obviously a Black Angus uh, steer and uh, happens to be an FFA project for uh, a girl in high school. Uh, I've been friends with her mom for, well, since Isaac was in kindergarten together. <laughs> so her daughter and Isaac were in kindergarten together. So um, they asked if they could bring Bo out here because they needed a place to uh, take care of this animal because one of the things about these FFA projects is these kids have to be around these animals every single day, twice a day, that they're here cleaning the pen, they're washing. He gets washed every single day. Wow, every what single life day. of luxury. Yeah, I mean, he is the most pampered animal you've ever seen. And uh, for his size and how he can just, she can just walk him around the farm, it's... Uh, it's really pretty amazing. I'm trying to give kids that normally wouldn't have an opportunity to do a steer project for FFA just because I have the space. Hey, this is, it worked out perfect. Okay, we've got the expecting mothers. This is where I've, I've found my place. <laughs> so these are all your goats that are expecting? Yes, these are still expecting. I have two Lamacha goats and uh, I have a great sign outside that teaches uh, people about 
how you can identify certain goats by their ears. So, oh, okay. Like Zazu, for instance, okay. is, is a boar goat okay. and has those big floppy ears. Yes. But Sarah and Megan are Lamacha goats. Okay. And Lamachas just don't have any... Uh, no they have ears. ears. They have ears, but no earlobes. No earlobes. And then this is Buck. This is Daddy. I was going to say, this looks like yeah. not a female. Yeah. Yeah. This is a big guy here. Somebody was saying that we should call this one the Beast because... He looks like the Beast. Yeah. Beauty and the Beast? Yes. Mm -hmm. He totally does. Yes. Are you nice? He's pretty nice. You're pushing on me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you want to play with me? just came out of the animal barn and we've got this nice big open area so what do you use this area for well this is gonna be well we've we've got a good start to it is our is our entertaining area okay. if you will and and while we have some goats with some babies over here as well but we've we're gonna start putting in more slides uh, the slide right now just we weren't able to set it up properly in time mm. but we've got three zip lines we've got our oh, pumpkin. Oh the zip lines! Yeah, How yeah. fun! And, and uh, I, even I can ride one of those zip lines it's, it's pretty fun. We have our hamster wheels uh, over there and, and that combine over there so this is a fun little project of mine. That okay. combine I'm going to turn that into a playground. Oh, so I'm gonna okay. kind of take the guts out of the combine and we'll put a slide through it and kids will be able to kind of play on there well, that Safely of course. Yeah, of course, but that's my summer project is we're gonna kind of take that combine apart and, and uh, Yeah, it's just kind of fun things, you know, just For kids to have fun. You yeah, know? it's just this is this is such a great area to do it and then it we is. have a tricycle track right there i We've could got, see the track yeah. when i pulled in yeah yeah it's over there and they've yeah. got little little like bicycle tractors yes and it's it's just it's just fun to see kids being able to be outside again and yes. enjoy the family time okay so All we right. have the wall of hands yes so i'm gonna do mine <laughs> try not to get it on my white shirt yeah try not to put it on the baby belly okay i think that looks good Oh, this is a lot of pressure. I, don't worry, you <laughs> cannot fail on this. Are you sure? Yes. Where, here? Yeah, right there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. God, I have huge oh, hands. Oh, I love it. I have huge hands. <laughs> <laughs> huge hands. He's I turning did into it. the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yay. That is all for today's trip. Thank you so much. This place is amazing. Thank you. And. It's Go ahead. It's, it's been difficult to get to this point because if you saw some of the before pictures, it, it was really nothing short of a disaster out here. And it's really, I haven't slept very well in the last like three, four months, but it's, it's I have to think of this as a long-term project and, and that it's being loved and by so many kids and families. and. I can kind of rest a little bit easier at night knowing that we're doing something good in the community. Yes, this place was packed today. So because this video will come out a little bit later, you guys might miss Baby Animal Days this year, but definitely come back this fall yeah. for sunflowers and pumpkins. We're in Modesto at Dutch Hollow Farms. Thank you so much, Farmer John. Thank you for coming. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Sustainability, it's who we are and what we do. We're in it for the good of farmers. We're increasing the livelihoods and sustainable practices of 500 million smallholder farmers. We're in it for good.